Hey everybody, what is Kraken? Uh, Mellow Link here, and I'm sure you guys saw the announcement for Zafina, and we also got announced for a new original character, Leroy, and finally we know what's happening in the Season 3 update, so I'm going to break down the entire thing for you guys, um, talk about what we saw, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super pumped because I thought we weren't going to get any other original characters for Tekken, but here we are with Leroy Smith. Um, so first and foremost, what got announced initially um, in the trailer was new moves for every character uh, and obviously a few changes in the game. So I'm going to go through them now for you guys. So first up, we see Feng has an extension on what I think is his down forward four. Um, obviously it leads into a shoulder, it's a three hit string now. Next we got Lee's forward four three, which is now a screw move, which is probably forward four one. Lay's Drunken 4 now has a screw extension as well. Now this is a, one of the sickest things ever. Geese gets one of his most trademarked moves uh, from the old games, which is the overhead swipe. This one's interesting. So Miguel has pretty much looks like his Sav down back 3, but Devil Jin falls in an all new animation. So I don't know if this is a new knockdown type or just another counter hit, but it looks sick. Armor Kings looks like a scratch on the floor that's a low counter hit. Um, so that's pretty sick as well. Alyssa has her boosters on in this clip, so I'm guessing this is another extension out of um, her destruction stance used to wall splat. Law's got this sick looking soccer kick that's obviously a screw. Leo has an addition to her wall combo. Josie has a flying knee. Asuka has a new screw. Noctis now has a new barge. Yoshi's got, I don't even know what that is, it's like an upward slash. Julia gets a new sweep that high crushes. Eliza gets a new string for wall carry. And Xiaoyu gets what I believe to be a high hitting mid that wall splats. Kuma gets a new addition to hunting stance. And it looks like Negan gets a well deserved new low. Um, I, I personally think he struggles with lows so it's great that they've added that in. So I'm going to show you guys pretty much, you might have missed it here, but they actually showcase um, the other the other new moves in this very brief screen here, but I'll just quickly go through them. So I'm going to have to do a super zoom in, so obviously it's not going to be the best quality, but you can make out what's going on in most of them. So this one, Lars actually gets a power crush out of his uh, silent entry that actually screws as well. So this is super sick for Lars. Here you can see after Snake Edge, Brian's got this sick as hell new screw. Um, so that looks really awesome. Shaheen gets a new move out of Sneak Stance. It's actually a screw as well. Looks like a low high. King also gets a new screw, which is out of back two, I believe. So it's probably back two, one plus two or something like that. Maybe even back two, one. So this one's super sick. Paul actually gets a mid option out of his uh, sway back three, two, one mix up. It's always either high or low. Now he's actually got a mid out of that. So that's just added a whole new level of depth to his game. So this to me looks like a while standing punish um, that is actually a full launcher as you can see. So Hayachi finally gets a full combo out of a while standing launcher that's not electric. So that's <laughs> super crazy. Jin now gets a mix up out of CDS 1-2, which I'm guessing is a safe high move and will be great for wall carry. And holy crap, Kazumi gets a new double kick out of her fly stance. Uh, this obviously helps so much with wall carry and looks like it's pretty decent damage as well. So this would be great for combos. My boy Kazuya now has a new screw out of back 2, probably back 2-2. Two two, and it just looks sick as usual with Kazuya moves. I don't know the command for this, but Bob gets a sick as extension. So his combos look like they're stylish as now. Horan can now go into Flamingo out of down forward one, so this is crazy for getting into Flamingo mix-ups. It's hard to see this one, but I think Nina has either a new screw and a new running move, or just a running move. Claudio now has a spike counter hit launcher, a new move altogether obviously. Katarina has a new screw out of Harrier stance. Lily has a new move that puts people in crouch, and it's obviously safe because he does the power crush after. Gigas' full crouch kick now has an extension, which is also a screw. Devil Jin's back two now has an extension that is essentially CD1. Lucky Chloe now has a mid counter hit out of her dancing mix-up. 
Marduk either has a new extension or you hold the button after you do downfall with 3-1 and it's obviously a new screw. Dragonov now has an extension of 3-1-2, uh, which obviously is more damage and it's crazy for wall carry. Jack now has an extension of back 1 and obviously it's going to be a natural combo and it knocks down for a free down back 2, so that's sick. Stevie Boy's got a new low that puts the opponent into crouch as he's obviously dodged the wall standing 4 there and knocked him onto the wall. Also, I'm not sure if this did this before, but his wall bounce is now uh, weave 2 as well. And finally, Eddie's got a sick 13 frame punish as you can see him punishing Katarina's hop kick here because his punishment is absolutely terrible. So that's awesome and it goes into the handstand as well. So lots of super sick awesome changes. Um, a lot of them are to do with combos because they are new screws and such which is amazing because that revitalizes the whole combo system. You know, you can come up with new um, combinations and things like that. And on top of this, uh, there are also new punishes. So again, this switched up the whole game. They've really revamped most of the important stuff in the game that actually matters and that you actually use. Um, so I really can't wait for these changes. They seem awesome. So I'll just quickly go through the extra, I guess, game or system changes because you guys might have been too hyped for Leroy and Zafina to pay attention or maybe you did see it, who knows. But I'll just quickly go through it. So obviously we got the new moves. We've got play stats display coming. So I'm guessing that's going to be, for example, win rate versus Brian, 50%, things like that. So that'll be awesome. Updated UI speaks for itself. New, new uh, menu, maybe new health bar. Uh, expanded practice functionality, so we're going to be able to do more things in practice mode. What that entails, I'm not sure, but sounds good. And most importantly, my replay. So in the past, Tekken games have had replay feature, and you can rewatch over your matches. Now you don't have to worry. Obviously, it's on PC. You can get a capture card or use Nvidia, whatever Shadow Play. Now it's all embedded in the game. Uh, maybe that's tied to the stats, and now you can quickly watch over all your sick plays and your downfall to electrics so super good move by them can't wait well that about does it for the new mechanics and gameplay changes guys uh the next breakdown is going to be about the zafina trailer i'm going to go through it and show you guys all the stuff that's changed and uh what's coming back um and then maybe talk a bit about leroy so tune in for part two to see that guys but for now take it easy peace